Ako po si Director Roy Abaya ng Department of Agriculture Regional Office 3 ng Central Luzon. Ako po ay nagaanyaya na manood ng maunlad na agrikultura sa Nayon. Mag-agri tayo. Ito po ay tuwing lunes, 9.30 hanggang 10 o'clock ng umaga, CLTV 36. Ang tubig ay isang napakahalagang elemento sa mundong ito. Walang buhay kung walang tubig. At pati rin sa agrikultura ay hindi mabubuhay ang ating mga pananim at ating mga hayupan kung wala ang tubig. Pero sa episode na ito ay bibida ang tubig sa isang pinag-iba yung teknolohiya ng agrikultura. At ito ay ang hydroponics. Ako po si Nicole Burgos at ating saksihan ang kapangyarihan ng hydroponics sa inyo third season ng programa MANA! Maunlad na agrikultura sa Nayon, mag-agri tayo! Natural na tayo ay magtanim sa lupa, ngunit sa pinag-ibayong teknolohiya bilang tugon sa pabago-bagong klima ng mundo at pagdami ng populasyon ay marami na ang mga nagsusulputang bagong inovasyon sa pagsasaka na nagpaparami at nagpapaganda ng kalidad ng ani. Isa na dyan ang hydroponics. Sa bayan ng Samal sa Bataan, umusbong ang isang hydroponics farm. Saksihan natin ang kanilang kwento. Hesitant kami noon ng gawin ito kasi we were thinking about the expenses. It could cost us a lot of money and we have to also study the market as well and the demand of the people. Pero ang concern namin most ay ang health ng tao. Sabi namin, in spite of that uh, big investment, let's focus on the benefits of this hydroponic farming, especially sa mga youth ngayon. Number one, Ang benefits ng hydroponic farming, water utilization, konti lang konsumo ng tubig. Kasi ang tubig dito nagsisirculate. Whatever you feed on the plant, it goes back to the reservoir. Okay. Number two, you don't need in space. Minimal space lang, pwede ka na. Kahit nasa likod ng backyard, you can plant your own hydro hydroponic uh, setup. You can do it at the backyard. Number three, Ang demand ngayon ng fruits, ng vegetables, ay napakalaki because of the rapid growth of population. Compare sa soil-based, ang rapid growth of the crops. Normally, pag tinanin mo siya sa lupa, it grows up to 45 to 60 days. Sa hydroponics po, makaka-harvest na po tayo in 30 days. Um, actually, there are several medium that we can really use. Um, kasi na research and development namin, we're our goal is to at least uh, minimize minim cost, minimize our cost. So we tried coho choir. We tried this uh, perlite, a combination of coho choir and perlite. Uh, we tried this uh, vermiculite. We tried the uh, fumis or the volcanic rock. And then we also tried the rock wool. I'm popular in states and rock wool. Uh, since nandito tayo sa Asia, available yung coco choir. Uh, anong coco choir? Ito yung coconut husk na grinded and sterilized. Ni-sterilize ito para sa hydroponic. Uh, I added some perlite as a soil conditioner para sa anong perlite para magkaroon ng oxygen ang coco choir para hindi siya ma-intact, para ang halaman makabreed ng maaga. Ma ma na mahalag na oxygen is also a part of the uh, nutrients ng, ng halaman. Okay. And then we have this uh, volcanic rock. Mayaman tayo sa volcanic rock. If you were just away, Malahar, you can use that. Yan ang ami experiment ngayon. And it's working. Bakit? Kasi yung volcanic rock may mga mineral contents din yun eh. It can also hold these nutrients sa halaman. Uh, people are not aware that these are very precious stones. Mahal ito. Pagating sa US, mahal siya. And these are here, readily, readily available. But just make sure na sa sanitize nyo lang ha. Ihugasan nyo ng Clorox. You cannot just 
get it from the soil, put it on the cup. Sanitize nyo pa rin. Ang, the key here is make sure everything that you use are properly sanitized. How do you sanitize? Just use Clorox. Soak nyo lang. Yeah, Clorox. Regular Clorox. Yeah, sanitize yung mga bato. Babad nyo sa Clorox. Hugasan nyo. Bilad nyo. Pero make sure na ibibilad nyo kasi yung Clorox, eh, pag too much sa halaman, naapektuhan din ang halaman. And the most important thing is you should have the love, the passion, and the dedication to this kind of work. Kasi ito, compare sa soil-based, ang soil-based farming, iwan mo lang yung halaman, it will grow by itself. Hydroponics, no. You have to monitor it. Kumbaga, you have to babysit your plants. Babysitting in that sense that you have to see if everything goes well. Malaki ang future nito sa Pilipinas. Kasi nakikita ko na, especially the young people here, they are interested sa hydroponics. Kasi ito ay high-tech. Kumpaka high-tech lahat ito eh. Pati ang pag-grow niya, ang pag-didilig niya, pwede mong automated. Ang pag-prepare mo ng solution, pwede mong automated. Kumbaga, hydroponics is also, uh, masabi natin na uh, napakadaling trabaho. Hindi ka na kailang magpungkal ng lupa eh. Uh, you can have only minimal amount of people. Ilan ang tao? Kami dito, Actually, apat lang kaming gumagawa eh. Gumagalaw eh. Dalawang kasama namin, tapos kami mag-asawa. And then, pag wala ako, yung dalawang mag-asawa na business partner namin. Pero normally, apat lang kaming gumagalaw dito. Pag sa farm, you need how many people? Takes a lot of, uh, takes a village to make, <laughs> to, make, to, to uh, grow this plant, <laughs> di ba? Kasi talagang maraming taong kailangan. Dito, hindi. At saka, uh, ang pagtanim namin, Walang season eh. On and off. Paano nga ba ang paghahanda ng isang hydroponics farm? Well, in, in hydroponics, uh, like I said, some people use this as a line or a channel or a, a uh, what else. You, you can name it. There's a lot of uh, name they use for this. Uh, there's, two, there's different ways of, of, of building uh, the unit. As you can see, there's a, a they call it a frame, and this is a NFT. Uh, NFT means uh, nutrition film technique. Uh, we use a pump, and the uh, the line, the water goes straight down to the uh, the line, uh, to the unit, and goes back to the uh, reservoir. Some people use the term drip to recycle, but mostly as NFT. And when you say it's NFT, it's understandable that it's drip to uh, drip to recycle. The A-frame is, is just the, uh, the shape, but basically it's the same. The supply of water goes through each uh, uh, pipe. There is a, a return manifold and goes straight back to the uh, reservoir. But before it goes back to the reservoir, it, there is a filter. So, it, uh, so whatever goes to the, uh, to the um, reservoir, filtered na siya. It is side here. We're gonna use a different technique. It's called double, DWC. Uh, it stands for deep water culture. For this, we have uh, 150 gallons of reservoir capacity. We just uh, use the whole uh, 150. And that's one thing uh, good about hydroponics. You don't need to use a lot of water. You collect 150 gallons of reservoir, mo, and then you mix your uh, nutrients. That's it. And then you just run your pump. It goes the whole day. Depends on the uh, depends on the weather. First of all, the weather is the main factor. Uh, of, of course, you have to consider the uh, the evaporation and uh, and the nut and the the plants. They they consume the the nutrients. I would say, in average, we will lose like five gallons a day. A PVC uh, gather. They use it for the rain spout, and you just de uh, you put a hole in it. Mag uh, mag drill ka lang ng hole. Mag drill ka lang hole according to the size of your uh, uh, of your net pots. This is the net pots. Uh, first of all, hindi siya umiinit. You can feel it. Hindi siya umiinit. Kasi uh, one thing that is uh, another another uh, problem. Pag ang, nutri ang water, ang, 
uminit, a uh, certain degree, ang nutrients nagre-react. Most, most important is not the temperature, it's the, the humidity. You have to keep it low. The humidity has to be holding between between 40 to uh, 60. Well, there's there's different types of uh, uh, greenhouse structure. This is the traditional. It's called the A, the A frame. I like the A frame because it's higher. Uh, the the plants can breathe more, and you can uh, have a better uh, aeration here. The the air is circulating better. That's why I like it. Here. Like it. But as far as the durability, is pretty much the same. Depends on how what type of materials you use. We use a, a very good. Uh, uh, frame two feet bel uh, ab below the ground so it, it really uh, strong it can hold like uh, 180 kilometers per hour wind and it will never blow away use this as a base and this uh, in this size uh, this is eight by eight supposed to be eight by 40 but we got, we came short of four meters so uh, it's 8x36, this particular one is 8x36. Uh, in, in the materials and the, the building this, not including this, uh, the just the structure itself. Roughly, uh, ballpark figure, I would say, if you have like uh, 300 grams. And another thing about hydroponics is, uh, unlike the, the soil, you have to wait to harvest everything to go to start a new one. Unlike here, when you uh, when you're ready to harvest one, as like this one, you just transfer another one. In a week or two, you have another harvest. Actually, uh, as a matter of fact, you can harvest every day. That's why I like about the hydroponics. As far as productivity, it's. It's amazing. The only thing that runs the electricity is the pump, and you don't run the pump the whole day. Uh, you you you, uh, you turn on the pump in the morning for a couple hours, turn it off. After another two day, two hours, then you run the pumps again. So three to four times a day, uh, you run the pump, and also the uh, the blower. The blower only you only turn on the blower or the fan when it's really extremely hot, uh, the hot weather. Ating natong hayan ang punang bahagi ng kwento ng hydroponics farm sa Bataan. Sa aming pagbabalik ay atin namang aalamin ang mga solution mixes sa paggawa ng hydroponics farm. Marami pa kaming babahagi sa inyo dito sa programa MANA, Maunlad na Agrikultura sa Nayon, Mag-Agri Tayo!